Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm here to talk to you about another shop update. Um, the year is almost out, I can't even freaking believe it. And uh, just basically here to talk to you about the cars that we've been working on and uh, what cars we're going to have finished before the year is over. But um, let me get down a level here and we'll start walking through. So what you see here, 1974 Super Beetle Build-A-Bug Project. Uh, we just wrapped this car up guys. I just had the car detailed yesterday and this is the first time we've worked on a late model bug like this. I know a lot of you guys uh, know that I don't really go into these years but I got to tell you what a cool car. A great story. This is uh, an original owner's car. Uh, the woman that we built this for, uh, they bought this car new in 74. They got the original bill of sale and the story is just tremendous. Uh, she actually lost this car and then she was able to get it back. Uh, there's a whole story to it and you know it's a very sentimental car to this woman and uh, this is the part of the reason why we also built it and um, she came out fantastic and now if you've never driven in a 74 Super Beetle um, I gotta say great running and feeling and driving cars uh, if any of you want out there want a daily driver car uh, this is a great car to get uh, it's the last year to, of the carbureted motor but you have the McPherson strut front end and it's very you know ironed out they got you know all the kinks out of the earlier uh, versions and uh, really drive smooth and let's go around the car here the inside of the car you know, these seats feel very like a new car today you know I mean it feels like new car seats and you know of course you have the dash there's that buzzer going so we got that to work um, there's the, the big dash the big window the bowed window so the car actually feels like a very modern car and when you drive it the suspension is very smooth uh, definitely does not bang and feel like a tractor kind of the earlier Beetles um, very very nice I gotta say this car came out beautiful um, should probably be picking this car up next week and um, uh, original color original style we went back to uh, original bumpers still on the car you cannot buy these bumpers brand new at least uh, I have not found them so they were in great shape and we just kind of polished and buffed them up but if you do have rusty bumpers for these years, you would have to go uh, send them out to be chromed. Um, but uh, just a fantastic car. Uh, I drive it all the time. I mean, you know, great giddy up and go on the highway. Uh, just, a, just a beautiful thing. So if you guys ever want to get into a late model Beetle as a daily drive, this is also a great, this is a great car. Uh, I, I gotta say. So, and what you see over here is a 1967 convertible Beetle. This is a find a bug project. Uh, for a client that signed on uh, earlier this year and uh, this is a project for his wife for her birthday and uh, so pr pretty damn cool finding a 67 convertible here in the Northeast we actually found this in in the Boston area and uh, had an earlier restoration maybe within the last I don't know 10 years eight set eight nine ten years something like that uh, paint is actually real good on it it just needs some updating you know we're gonna get a new top on it new headliner new seats door panels uh, get it up to speed, chrome seals, you know, things like that. Um, drop the motor, you know, do some details and, and things. So, uh, but uh, this is a find a bug project, a project where, you know, we, we find the car already somewhat restored. Um, and then if the client wants any changes, that's what we do. If you don't want to go through like a full restoration like we have here on this 74. And here is a beautiful 62 turquoise. Uh, beetle that we found out in California. Now this was a car that I actually found um, on the Samba and it was already painted. So the car was basically gutted, painted, had a beautiful body off paint job and uh, when I saw this car I basically had to grab it and at least just throwing it, throw it into our inventory so if we had to get it at one point. Now I guess this is kind of a find a bug slash build a bug. I have a client that signed on to this car and uh, she saw the pictures online of the gutted shell and a painted shell and she said okay build that car for me so it's a little bit further than a um a find a bug because we're restoring everything as far as you know the interior the motor um the undercarriage we took the body off the chassis we restored the chassis you know things like that it just car came already painted to us so we just re we're reassembling it and it's coming out really nice. Now, turquoise is a very popular color that was offered, uh, I believe, from 61 to 63. Tough color, though. You know, a lot of times it's tough to get good color combinations. Originally, the colors would have been 
I'll show you in here. We went a little more uh, our taste, but uh, originally on turquoise, you would have had um, the, a gray vinyl seat in America. Okay, so you had a gray vinyl with an off-white piping here. Okay, and then the door panels would be the two-tone gray, gray top and bottom, and then the white uh, vinyl in, in the middle. In Europe, they would have actually had a cloth on the front face of the seat here, kind of like a gray cloth as well. Um, this car actually came out of France and is a Euro car. So we are kind of putting more of a Euro feel to it. So as you can see, this is, you know, again, one of our signature kits that we always go through uh, with, uh, with SoFine. So we got the, um, uh, the back seat all in. We got the, here's what our door panels are gonna look like in the front. So you have top and bottom there. Headliner is actually a TMI mohair headliner. Came out really nice. I was shocked. <laughs> but um, beautiful headliner there, nice material. And I think it goes pretty well with her interior that you see here. And coming around back, you see we opted for the Euro lenses uh, to put on the rear because I think it fits the car nicely. This is actually a numbers matching car too, which is really nice. Body, chassis, motor. Um, so I'll lift up the, the engine compartment here. And, and here's the beauty. I love the stale air uh, 40 horse motors that they had in the early 60s. Uh, what's really cool about these motors is that if you wanted to, uh, for somebody like me, who wants to keep a period looking motor you can beef this motor up with a big bore piston and cylinder kit and you do not have to machine the block uh, and so you get a little more horsepower and from what if I'm not mistaken you could you could boost the motor to a 1385 cc as opposed to just keeping it stock as a 1200 if you'd like to and uh, what's nice about this it, you know this still has the earlier fan shroud like the 36 horsepower so there's no fresh air coming off the fan shroud um, it's still a stale air box so even if you wanted to put a motor like this into an earlier beetle like a you know a 50s beetle oval window beetle 58 59 um, you get a little more kick and it goes right in really without it much much of a hitch you know uh, no machining or uh, you know grinding away the bell housing on the tranny to get the bigger motor to fit in this will go right in and actually fit still and you still give you plenty of room in the engine compartment so uh, another good motor, you know, I've thought about doing this on some of my earlier cars to get a little more speed out of a 36 horse, you know. Uh, 36 can sometimes be a dog on the highway. But uh, on a 40 horse, you can boost it to a 1385 with a big bore piston and cylinder kit and uh, pretty cool. So we should have this car fully reassembled, uh, I'd say by maybe the end of the year, uh, if not going into the very beginning of next year. But um, almost there, just putting the, you know, the nice little finishing touches on it. Uh, I got the dashboard uh, just about all done. Uh, we put in, of course, you know, brand new wiring harness. That's the best thing to do for me. And uh, always have your schematic, guys. I get guys that tell me all the time, I don't know how to hook up my wires. The schematics are online and they're in color. So if you need actual step-by-step -step following on how to do this, bugmevideo.com has a DVD on wiring. So you can get that, and uh, they do early 60s Beatles. Uh, he actually does a 63 in there, full, you know, front to back, and then later on they go through some of the, the changes that went on. But always get a schematic off of the Samba.com. Uh, even when you buy a new wiring harness, either from CIP1.com or Wolfsburg West, they give you the harness, uh, I'm sorry, the harness with the instructions and the uh, schematic to follow along. So these earlier Beatles are not so bad. Uh, there's not many wires here, so um, it's it's pretty straightforward. So this is what I've been working on for the past few months. As you can see, the 62 uh, followed right after, well, simultaneously, we're working on Barbara's car here, okay? And then we were also working on this as well. So um, yeah, always, always work to be done here at Classic VW Bugs. So uh, if you guys have any questions, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care.